Talking to Kenny McPeak, who will saddle all Java's war in the Toyota Bluegrass Stakes, and uh, obviously you know he likes this track, right? Well, his race in the Futurity last fall was a good race, and yeah, we think if he can run back to that and improve a bit, yeah. Uh, tell me about his last race, and did that surprise you at all the way he jumped up and ran so well? It didn't surprise me at all. I was surprised he was 30-something 30, 30 to 1. Um, the horse that beat us, Verrazano, is obviously extremely talented and came back and showed that he's for real. But um, we feel like that the mile and an eighth here is going to suit him real real good, and if he can get third or better, that'll punch his ticket to Churchill, and um, he's in with a chance. He's doing good. What about uh, in such a big field, uh, does the jockey have some he, – can he stop and start with him? Does he need to be out in the clear? Well, I think from the four hole, I think that's a good thing because he's going to get a chance to save a little ground, and I do think that's important here at, uh, at Keeneland. And where he ends up coming, you know, finishing, that's you know completely up to Julian. I mean, he nobody rides this track much better than him right now, and we're, we're real happy to have him on. Uh, you have talked about ri- running pure fun against the boys in the Lexington. Is that still a possibility? Yeah, there there is. I'm going to work her tomorrow morning. Um, you know, she had she had the decent race at Turfway. Uh, she had a f- slight, just a little bit of an elevated fever for a few days after the race. She didn't clog up as far as congestion or anything, but I think she got a little bug on the plane. And it's going to be six weeks in between races if I don't do something with her between now and Oaks Day. So I think I'd rather get a race in her, and this is all assuming she works well and she eats up and, and she seems like she's ready. And lastly, uh, and the, the Saturday card, Anytime at this at this meet, the maiden races for any age are kind of exciting, especially three-year-olds. You've got a couple, I guess, three horses in the two maiden races tomorrow. Any of those that are particularly doing well coming up to their start? Well, Allegheny Angels a really good filly. Um, you know, we're 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 real bullish on her. Um, Doug Branham, you know, local here, owns her. And then um, we've got Dr. Vicky Lynn for for Dr. Greenbergers with the University of Kentucky. But those two fillies have have a good future. We just got to get. You know, some races under these Phillies belts and get them going. And then Bellerman is a horse that we're real fond of. Um, he acted like he could have been on the Derby campaign, but um, he, he was kind of behind schedule because he had a throat issue. But um, we kind of expect uh, him to win and certainly the Phillies to run good.